All right. So we now have a tattoo. Let's go ahead and go to the black market shop and grab the contracts. We won't be completing all of them, like I said, because some of them actually require you to kill people. For instance, the mime um, quest on this level. But we will be able to upgrade stuff from there as well. And we will be we will be able to do some of the quests, so. I don't think if this guy sees us. Hey buddy. Yeah, he he's cool with us. He runs with the same crowd. Actually, I don't think you can complete any of the quests in this area, now that I think about it. All right, guard, guard. Oh, that's just a worker, actually. Both civilians as well. Oh, there's a guard. Okay. And we're going to save it right here and try porting behind this guy. I want to see if we can knock him out without anybody noticing. That was bad, the whitewashed smuggler girl. Damn. You had it coming. They noticed. <laughs> they noticed. Well, that's okay. We're just going to have to wait for him to patrol more and kind of sneak around up, up top. So strange. They noticed us choking out a guy in the... In the middle of a street. Black markets in this part of town. Bad sign. I expect smuggling in the dockyard districts, but here, not good. Better tell Captain Lowry. Black market sign. So this guy's talking about how there is a black market here. Let's actually take him out when he walks all the way over there. Nice. We're gonna dump his body around this corner underneath the stairs. Hopefully no one finds him. This worker shouldn't um, fight us unless we aggro people. If I remember correctly. So now we're gonna jump over the top here. And then jump down to the black shop, the black market shop. Alright, where is the other guard? There's one there, and I think this other guy actually walked far enough away that he's no longer in this location. Probably up, up there. Oh, I've never been over there. Let's see what's up here. Kill all the whales. Strange. Someone doesn't like whales. I kind of like whales, if I'm honest. They always seem like nice things to me. Alright, let's go to the black market shop. Evening, Reza! <laughs> I'm assuming there wasn't any football today. Alright, let's... Let's jump down here to the black market shop. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Grab some food. Throw an autosave in, as always. We we'll autosaving very frequently because we're going to be jumping back if we get seen. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and take all of these contracts, but there's several that we can't do. For instance, kill Death of the Mime, we can't do because. We'd kill him, and we can't kill them. There is. Luckily, I have two electronic thingies. You have two electronic thingies. Wow. You're so lucky. Are these electronic thingies maybe like a microwave and a toaster?
Are we talking kind of like computational devices here? Football and so are you? Are, do you mean football? Like most European people mean, or do you mean football? Like um, most American people mean? <laughs> Don't mock you. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I would never mock anyone, Reza. All right. Again, so we can't do Death of Mime because we can't kill people because it's a no-kill run. We could do Missing Brother, but I'm fairly certain it's impossible to get him out of that house without uh, being spotted. No Broncos versus Cow. Really? Interesting. How did you get into football being from Germany? Is it a big thing over there? Okay. Kidnap the bartender. We also can't do this one because it's impossible to kidnap the guy without um, being spotted in his bar. And we can't do this one because we have to kill both of them. So actually, we can't complete any of the contracts from this area. Luckily, this is not our not our all contract I'm run. I'm certain you will find what you require here. So the first thing we really want to work on upgrading is our immobilization. Uh, inventory for instance wait not that one what no you fool we want the black market to be able to sell electrical bursts it's a fairly expensive one but it's worth it I think I think that's the correct thing yes no need to wrap it for and then we also want it to sell hyperbaric grenades. Does the hyperbaric grenades knock people out? It is slowly <sighs> getting there. Miss my we don't stream shop. all games, but there are big Smell fan bases. Tobacco. And we have a German have bowl. Interesting. There's a German bowl. Couldn't keep up. So are there a lot of teams there as well? Okay, so we're going to enable them to sell hyperbaric grenades as well, because these are grenades that essentially knock things out. And they're gonna, gonna see if we need any weaponry. Let's look at our stocks. We have plenty of health potions because we don't really buy health potions. We don't really use health potions because it's all stealth, no kill, so we don't get in direct combat with people. Ever, really. Let's go ahead and buy some hyperbaric grenades. I have a cousin in America. I guess I have it from there. That's super cool. And then we're going to get more of these pulling devices because they're really useful for throwing around corners <laughs> and sucking people and knocking them out without actually killing them. Get one more. Nice. <laughs> Please visit again soon. I'm really curious to figure out what these passcodes are. I thought maybe it was the pressure on this. So it'd be like 969, but it ended up not being that. I think we found like one passcode in our last playthrough. Is this the no is the no kill run even working? Of course the no kill run is working. What? I don't know what you mean. How could it not work? We're just not killing people. So you can complete the main quests without killing people. However, they're like a... Who the hell just saw me? You, But you cannot complete all the con the contracts without killing people, because many of the contracts are to kill people directly. Uh, so this run, unlike our last run, will not be an all-contract run, which is, you know, just different. I really did enjoy doing all the contracts, and I kind of wish they'd added in a non-lethal way to do every contract, but unfortunately they didn't, so. Like for instance, this area we're not gonna be able to do a single contract because all of them either require being seen by enemies or killing people. Wow, that was less effective than I thought it would be. Let's go to Ivan Jacoby's office first. It's literally just the office across the street. 
on kill humans but kill dogs. 100% dog kill run. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. We are killing all the dogs. Um, I'm sure Prez is probably not a fan of that, but the dogs are the most aware of any creatures in the game. And while they count... While they count to uh, if they see you, they don't count if you kill them. You cruel men! <laughs> so, if we don't kill all of them, it actually is very detrimental to us. Because they can see us and ruin the whole playthrough, but if we kill them, it doesn't count as a death. Alright, so this is the room we need to go in. I don't think there's an upper way to get in. I think we actually just have to go straight in. So I just saved it on top of this. Let's try jumping down here. I'm sure I saw it somewhere. Nope, nope. Hey, you. What's going Come here? Here. Okay, so there's a guy in the guardhouse that actually saw us. Huh. Take this. I think we're going to have to maybe port closer to the door instead of just jumping over it. Residents of Upper Syria District are encouraged to regularly attend local services by the Abbey of the Everyman. The moral guidance of the overseers is integral to our life and society. Bone talismans, suspicious carvings, or the odd behavior of a neighbor should be reported to the Abbey of the Everyman. I feel so bad. I think, yeah, perfect. Poor dogs. I know, I actually feel really bad killing the dogs. Especially in this game where they're not, like, in, um, s several games like Wolfenstein and the Evil Within stuff, and stuff like that, the dogs are kind of innately evil. They've been, like, tortured until they just automatically try and kill you. But some of the dogs in this game don't even try and kill you. Well, they try and kill you, but I don't know. They just seem more innocent in this game. So this, there's going to be a note on this guy's door uh, that says he's giving a speech. And I'm actually a little bit worried about this one because it is seems like it's going to be very hard to access him while he's giving the speech without dying. I mean, without killing people. So he's out there giving a speech, speaking Craving out against regraving, I should which pay is an Ivan interesting visit. battle to pick. So he feels so much better about them being dead. Yeah, that may not, <laughs> may not be the most comforting thing I could ever say, I guess. I'm trying to remember the back entrance. Blood ox stew tonight. Star. Oops. I can't remember where the back entrance to this place is. I think... Let's look around real quick. Maybe there's a door? No? I was thinking this was maybe this door, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe down here, potentially. Broncos versus Cowboys. Who are you cheering for in the Broncos versus Cowboys game? Oh, is that a map? I think it is, yeah. I'll definitely have to grab that real quick. Okay, so let's let's go over here real quick. Is that a guard or that's a that's a worker, not a guard. Let's grab this map. Dallas reluctant though. 
Why do you hate the do you hate Dallas? Hey Steen! Alright, let's let's see if we can remember where this thing is. It might be up these stairs to our right. Oh, there are no stairs to our right. Let's see, is this it? This is it. Okay, so this is the secret entrance, and we actually can't get through it from this angle. I don't believe. Unless there's any way to teleport ourselves to the other side, but it doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go ahead and go through here and mark all these guys. There's quite a few guards in here. Oh, let's actually unmark him because he's just a worker. There's one over there as well. We're going to save right here and then we're going to try and... Get up here in the middle of my speech. You heard Mr. Jacoby. Close the damn trap door already. Yes, sir. I believe citizens of Karnaka. I'm here today to demand the repeal no, of the reappropriation like of abandoned burials and grave sites act. Regraving disrespects the deceased and shames the living. Would you want your loved ones to? No, that's not it. We just got seen. Okay. Disrespects the deceased and shames the. That's fine. I'm a diehard Hulk. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. How do people in? Graving disrespects the deceased and shames the act. Feeling. Graving disrespects Ooh, the this deceased well. and shames. Where's Winstead with his papers? How do people in Germany choose a team to like? Bring me the coat. Filthy. Let's see, wait for this guy to turn around. Terrible thing with grave. And then we're gonna steal this this lady's. I think I have it. Citizens of Karnaka. Come on. We're here today to see whose, whose voices are gone from us. Every time we destroy a grave and erase a name from our cemeteries, a silent scream. So now they cannot the see us because we just stole her but identity. You want your loved ones? She said. No, that's not a sure. Perhaps I should start their shroud. Or maybe that joke about the false teeth. Oh, scratch that joke. Somehow the dead are too risky. The audience might think it's important. All right, let's make sure we haven't been seen. Good to go. East. Spooky story. Uh, the knocker at the window. Deliciously sinister. No thinking. So we're going to citizens of Karnaka. No. Dear citizens of Karnaka, what up here? Drop him down here. here. Okay, objectives. Now, so we got his key. He was just standing on top of that platform. We dropped him through the trap door, and we got his key. And I think we haven't been seen as well, so that should have worked out well. Right up. Hopefully we can get through here before they discover his body. We're good to go. Bandwagon mostly. The Olympic Peninsula was just part of many classes in my former right, major. Oh, that's cool. Bandwagon is a okay. I personally am not a huge football fan. A pro football fan. I follow college football. We need to find something. Anything. Alright, so we put one of these devices that sucks humans towards them underneath the trap door and just sucked him through and knocked him out immediately so he didn't see us. 
We're gonna go ahead and throw a hard save in here. Been, been a while since we've hard saved. And I want to leave this un unlocked for a while, but I'm not sure if it's possible to. Let me double check again, see if there's any guards out here. Doesn't look like it, unless this is a guard. No, he's just a civilian. We're gonna use this to just jump directly over and try and not get seen. Perfect. Shut these behind us. Let's go visit Jacoby's. <laughs> Jacoby's room. See what kind of really messed up shit he's involved in. And steal all of his stuff. Let's also do that. My family's bones. My grandmother was always disliked by my Ivian mother, and my mother regarded her father-in-law with a cold contempt with which she regarded everything. When I was born, he recognized instantly that we were alike. We shared a familiar continence and a heredity nearsightedness. Okay. <laughs> with which my siblings lacked. Together we were of a line which had lived in Circono since before the Empire. When my late father's debts became too great and our holdings too slim, my grandmother, grandfather retreated into our last parcel of land, our family crypt. He lived in their crypt? My mother, fearing the sort of man I would become where I raised amongst the dead, moved us to an apartment in Upper, in upper Syria. But I returned often to that dusty mausoleum, the crypts extended into the earth that, that was my birthright. My grandfather, as, an obstinate, as obstinate as I, slept beside them. In time, I knew each skull and every story. When they lacked names, I named them. When they lacked histories, I invented them. And then our crypt, deemed disused by an uncaring administration, was seized. My family's bones were dug up and discarded. My grandfather, who had made his home amongst the dead, was made homeless and perished shortly after. I will carry this tragedy with me forever. What a weird family history. Ugh, these people are sick. Exanguination experiment. So this person exanguinated people. And then pumped their blood into his body, which is a bit weird. First on his chest, muttering grogginess, I asked what he was seeing, and the audiograph machine didn't pick up his answers. I should hire an assistant. I can't ask questions, monitor the blood pump, and take notes all at once. At some point, he began repeating my name. Yachobi, Yachobi. Was he begging for his life, or was he j having a vision about me? Unfortunately, I never know. I remember him mentioning a certain Teresia. Something about whales and a shack in the mountain. So I think he was the mem a member of the cult. It has to be the knife. It's in a bank vault. Just my luck. So we just like got... I need to find that second key. We just got the key to his family bank vault where the knife is stowed. Unfortunately, we need the second key because it's a two-key bank vault. For ex added security. And another person has the second key. Which means we gotta go steal it from someone else as well. So here we go. Oops. We're gonna leap across the rooftops to get over there. In customary dishonored style. I think this is the best way to get there. Is a bone charm nearby? Where? Oh shit! Huh. We didn't even see that. Why thank you game for warning me. Let's see if we have any bone charms that we have that are unequipped. They're all...
Whoa. That's super cool. I don't know if that's worth it though. We're louder when making noise and more visible when leaning. It'd be kind of neat though to be able to just be completely invisible after choking someone out. I wonder how long briefly is. Okay. Sure, let's add it in. If we notice people start hearing us way too easily, 